हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट एमीबिक लिवर एब्सेस सो व्हाट डू यू सी इन एमीबिक लिवर एब्सेस एमीबिक लिवर एब्सेस इज मेनली कॉज्ड बाय एंटामीबा histolytica amoebic liver abscess is caused by entamoeba histolytica most commonly it is seen in developing countries amoebic liver abscess is most commonly seen in developing countries the most common route is the most common route is fecal oral route and it is common most common in young patients it is most common in young patients so if you see the infective stage infective stage of this amoebic liver abscess is you will see presence of quadrinucleate cyst is seen okay followed by first there will be quadrinucleate cyst and then you will see octanucleate cyst will be seen and this will give rise to eight trophozoites zoites are released Atrophozoites are released. Okay, this in the liver it causes flask-shaped ulcers. It causes flask-shaped ulcers in the liver. Okay, what is the most common location in the liver? And you will or this the uh, this uh, flask-shaped ulcers will express a type of pus, which is called has. Anchovy sauce pus. Now, first most common location it is in the liver. Then you will also see amoebic. Actually, first most common location is amoebic colitis. Or you will see presence of amoeboma, or you will see flask-shaped ulcers. In liver, there won't be flask-shaped ulcers. Okay, so these are mainly seen in ascending colon and cecum. Okay, in amoebic colitis, amoeboma and flask-shaped ulcers are seen in ascending colitis and cecum. Then. Entamoeba histolytica, with the help of uh, superior through superior mesenteric entamoeba histolytica through superior mesenteric vein or portal vein, it will reach the liver, and then in the liver it causes histiocytosis of hepatocytes. It causes histiocytosis. of hepatocytes and it also causes necrosis by wbc and thus it results in formation of anchovy sauce pus which is accumulated okay so what do you see in the clinical features clinical features you will see the most common symptom in ab abdominal liver abscess is abdominal pain in amoebic liver abscess is abdominal pain then other symptoms like fever anorexia may be seen and fatigue may be seen but if you were asked jaundice is it seen in amoebic liver abscess it is seen very rare what is the most common uh, liver function test abnormalities most common liver function test abnormalities is increase in prothrombin time so if you see the diagnosis in the diagnosis first investigation done in diagnosis is usg is the first investigation done and the diagnosis is mainly suggested by ultrasonography or ct scan and the diagnosis is confirmed it is suggested by ultrasonography and ct scan and it is confirmed by amoebic serology 
and elisa okay so this is about the diagnosis then how are you going to treat this amoebic liver abscess amoebic liver abscess is treated by high by giving high dose oral metronidazole is given to the patient we give high dose oral metronidazole is given which is 750 mg tds it is given for 10 to 14 days then what are the now if you see the indications and that's in the next page so what are the indications indications of aspiration in amoebic liver abscess so if you see indications of aspiration in amoebic liver abscess include number 1 there will be if there is no improvement after medical management if you see that there is no improvement after medical management within 3 to 4 5 days there should be some improvement of medical management within 3 to 5 days if there is no improvement then that is that will lead to that then you should do aspiration then if there is high risk abscess that is if there is high risk abscess that is left lobe abscess and the size of the abscess is more than 5 cm if there is high risk abscess that is left lobe abscess and the size is more than 5 cm and if there is any diagnostic uncertainty or if there is any bacterial super infection diagnostic uncertainty or bacterial super infection or if there is pregnancy in the pregnancy there can be high dose metronidazole in pregnancy if you see high dose metronidazole is not safe so these are the main indications of aspiration of amoebic liver abscess then if you see the next is treatment treatment of carriers so what about the treatment of carriers so in the treatment of carriers carriers you can use intraluminal agents in the treatment of carriers you can use intraluminal agents can be used like paramomycin can be used iodophenol and diloxanide furoate can be used intraluminal agents like paramomycin iodophenol and diloxanide furoate can be used as carriers then if you see the complications what are the complications complications are these cysts can rupture into the peritoneal cavity if they rupture into the peritoneal cavity most commonly if they can rupture into the peritoneal cavity then you should do in such cases we should do exploratory laparotomy should be done with exploratory laparotomy with peritoneal lavage is done along with that we should do drain insertion okay then if there is rupture into the pleural cavity this rupture into the pleural cavity is actually second most common if there is rupture into the pleural cavity then intercostal tube drainage is insertion should be done if there is rupture into the pericardial cavity if there is rupture into the pericardial cavity this is third most common in this case we should do needle paracentesis is done in this case needle paracentesis is done followed by pericardiotomy needle paracentesis is done followed by pericardiotomy so these are the complications which you see in amoebic liver abscess thank you for watching thank you and thank you for watching